Hello friends, here we go again. In the previous video, we set up the layout. Let's now play our record files with media player. So when we click on an item in the recycler view, we should open a new activity and have the record play. We will need to pass the file path and the name from the recycler view to the new activity. To do so, let's open gallery activity just here. And inside of the on item click listener, remove this one and first fetch the audio record file from the records at the position, even just here. Position. If you remember, we've already used the intent class to start a new activity from the current one. So let's create one and give it the context and the target activity. And with the class intent, give it the context with this and the player activity, class.java. The intent can also hold data and pass it to the target activity using the put extra method. So let's put the file path with put extra. This method takes two arguments, the extra name to fetch on the other side. For this one, it's file path. And the second one is the object itself. In our case, it's the audio record dot file path. Let's do the same thing with the file name. Intent dot put extra. This one is file name and audio record dot file name. Okay. Now let's just start the activity with start activity and give it the intent. So now if we launch this, we should have a new activity open. Okay, here and here we are. Till now we can do nothing yet. So let's deal with this button first. So inside the audio player activity, we're gonna get back our extra. The activity class has already prepared the intent object for us. All we need to do is to call the right method on it. We know that we sent two strings, one for the file path. So we'll use intent dot get string extra and give it the name. In our case, it was file path. Do the same thing for the file name. Intent dot get string extra and file name. We could have sent integers or floats or even whole serializable objects. And in these cases, we would have used the appropriate methods like let's try get boolean array, boolean extra, bundle extra, and a lot of other extras. Now that we've got the file path, we'd like to read it. The media player class is just what we need. So declared as a class variable here, private late init var media player of type media player. Then initialize it as follows. First, invoke the media player class on it to instantiate it. Then inside the apply method, call the set data source and give it the file path so it knows where to read the file from and prepare it. Now to effectively start the playback, we'll set a click listener on the play pause button, but first let's get it from here private same thing late var init this one is button play and it's an image button and while we're at it let's bring in all our interactive elements so copy paste this a few times this one is button backward this one should be button forward this one is the speed chip of type chip and the last one should be the seek bar of type seek bar and in the on create method we should link them to the actual xml file button forward or button backward equal find u by id r dot id dot button backward same thing for the button forward find u by id R dot ID dot button forward here for the play button. Button play and the speed chip. And finally the seek bar. Now, the play button should have a click listener 
and whenever it's clicked it should call a play pause player method that we will define just here private function play pause player so first we should check if the player is already playing if not start playing so if not media player is playing then we should start the media player with the start method and switch the drawable from play to pause button play dot background equals resource resources compat dot get drawable give it the resources and the drawable you're interested in in our case it's pause circle and the last thing is the theme otherwise if it's playing then we should stop it with the media player dot pause then just switch the drawable here copy and paste from IC pause circle to IC play circle so let's test this and open we have a problem which line line 30 okay so actually we had a problem because here in the data source it's not string is the object itself file path so let's start again this time it should hopefully work okay open click it works so maybe you didn't hear anything but trust me trust me so the other thing we like is when the activity starts immediately we want the player to start playing so let's call the play pause function immediately after setting the data file and preparing it now you notice that the seek bar is always here and it doesn't move so let's handle this we want it to be updated every second to reflect the media player current position so we need a function that is called at a predefined interval that is what a handler coupled to a runnable can do the runnable allows us to run a task on another thread that is updating the seek bar and the handler schedules the runnable to be executed at some point in the future so let's declare them at the top of the class just here private late and it var the first one is the runnable of type runnable and the second one should be the handler of type handler also let's declare a private variable delay and set it to a thousand long integer which is one second then set the seek bar max value here to the media player duration seek bar dot max equals media player dot duration by doing this the seek bar now knows that it starts at zero it ends at media player duration then down below here initialize the handler and bound it to the main looper just like this equals handler and looper get main looper so the handler will delay a task which is the runnable to be executed by this main looper here and we should also define the runnable so the runnable is defined as such runnable equals runnable and we tell it what to do first we want the seek bar progress to be equal to the media player dot current position and just after this we want to program the next step which is updating the current position in a second so we use the handler with pass delay and give it the runnable itself the object we're defining here and the delay so what we're doing here is when we run this function it will set the progress at the current position then schedule another call to the same function in a second so every second this function is calling itself and updating the current position if we launch this now nothing should happen because this function is never called yet we should go inside the play pause player and when the player is starting we should start the chain reaction with handler dot post delayed runnable and delay also when we pause the player we like it to stop updating so we call handler dot remove callbacks and we give it the runnable which should be removed from the main loop thread but before we play actually i did something bad here because the play pause player is using the button so it should be called after the initialization of the button and same thing for seek bar here because it is initialized here we should put it down here and if we execute this again 
it should work perfectly. So open and click here. And it is progressing one second at a time. If we pause, it stops, play again, it moves again. So you should have noticed a jump of two seconds here. Maybe if we delay the first time by zero, then we shouldn't have it. So let's try. Open again, play, pause, play, pause, play, let it finish. And that's great. But notice that the pause button is still on pause. And if we hit it again, it starts again from here. So what we'd like is when the media player is done, then it should set the button back to play. And we can do this with a function on complete listener and just actually copy paste this line here, paste it here. And also remove the runnable so it doesn't try to update it while there's nothing to update. Okay, so next step is to set these two buttons here. And since this video is getting pretty long, we'll handle these two buttons and the seek bar progress to update the media player accordingly and the chip here in the next video. So see you then.